My dear friends, brothers and sisters, a very happy and a blessed Christmas to you. Well, once again we are celebrating the joyful feast of Christmas. Christmas is about hope, it's about fulfillment of promise, it's about being who we are meant to be. On Christmas Day we celebrate that this amazing God of the universe became a human being, was born among us. Why? So that we will know what God's plan for us is. The amazing eternal plan of God for us to be in harmony with God and with each other. The whole of humanity has been like in an act of birth from ever since we've been here on this planet. And it has come to a fullness in Jesus. Jesus reveals to us that we are called to be friends with God, that God is with us. Gratefulness is very much part of Christmas. To be grateful for the good things in our life, whether it's our family members, our friends, the beauty of nature, the promise of God's amazing love for us, all these many things to focus on gratefulness. At the birth of Jesus, the angels announced a tiding of great joy to the shepherds. Ordinary people, lower stratas of society, poor people, Jewish people. Also, the wise men from the East are guided by a star to come to visit the newborn Christ pagan people, not Jewish people, wealthy people. The gifts they give are symbolic, but very expensive gifts. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. What is the message? The good news of Jesus is for all people of all places and all time, rich and poor. All are called to know that they are the beloved sons and daughters of God. What a year this has been for us and humanity with the COVID-19 virus, the challenges it has brought to us. People have not been able to connect with family, financial hardships, so many challenges, and they are not over yet. So my friends, in the midst of the challenges, whether it's communal challenges, individual challenges in our own family life, in our personal life, whatever our life is bringing to us, the message of hope and good news comes with Jesus at his birth. Of course, he was born 2,000 years ago, but that message is for now. And we are called to a rebirth ourselves. Jesus called it being born again. It's about living in hope, making decisions to live our humanity fully according to the guidance and the mind of God. I wish you well. I wish you every blessing. Please take some time, as we have done in Advent, to reflect so that we can make any changes we need to make in our life, to be more the person we are called to be, called to be holy. And remember, my dear friends, the biggest mistake we can make is to give up if we make mistakes. So we never give up, growing and trying to do our best with the help of God. We pray, we reflect, we learn from our mistakes, and guided by the Holy Spirit, the teachings of Christ and His Church, we move forward. God bless you, your loved ones, and a blessed Christmas to you all. And also, my dear friends, I want to wish you all and your loved ones every blessings for the new year. Happy New Year as well. God bless you all.